Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today is a very exciting one for me. It's um, Jazza's Mega Minis Box. So Jazza is a YouTuber I've been following for a few couple of years. As you can see here. So Jazza is an Australian um, artist YouTuber who does all kinds of different art and Minis Painting is one of them and I've been watching him for a while now and he's brought out this box and it's made me take the leap to start painting myself. In this box, it has everything you need to start, which is uh, which I like very much because I'm not sure exactly what I'll need. So I was a little bit uh, put off from starting because it's a bit overwhelming, but now I have a starter kit, I can start my journey. I open this box, but first look at the back. It's got Jazz himself as his avatar painting some minis. The box is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, so there could be a lot of good goodies in here. Let's we'll start to get this thing open, shall we? So this booklet guide, I got um, some smart art code, tabletop time, he has a um, tabletop YouTube channel as well. This is his um, original minis piece art that he created. I am, yes Jazz, I am trying for the first time. So you, Jazz's advice is to take it slow and enjoy the process. It takes time, let it take time. I'm always looking to do a bit of this painting. Um, it's very relaxing. The little bit of painting I did in the Christmas, the Christmas painting was very relaxing. Hold on to your first mini, be proud of it. Be proud of it now and enjoy looking at it later down the line and see how much you've learned. Of course, I'm going to keep all my minis. That's why I got my display case. You want to see my display case? I do have a office tour. Okay, it's got all the stuff in here that it's got a list of everything in in the box so I can make sure it's all there. This is insane. This even got some basic instru um, instructions of how to start. There is even his own head. This has got some cool techniques in this guidebook. So what else we got? We got a, a Stay Wet Handy Palette, Stay Wet Palette. So it looks like it keeps your paint wet. Is there a guide to how to use this? It's my first time, so I don't know what any of this is. Um, prepare using the hottest water you can get from the tap. Place the sheet, let it soak. Oh my gosh, you gotta put it in the microwave, you gotta wet, get the paper ready. See, none of this stuff I would have, I would have just got some paint. This is, see, this, is this, this is gonna set me to be a professional minis painter. The sun is currently setting at the moment. I hope the lighting is not too bad. I thought I'd go with some natural light, afternoon light today. Put that to the side. Ooh, we've got some, we've got some Loctite here to glue the minis together, I assume. We got some nice 
side cutters. Side cutters here to nip little bits off. Glue together, I assume. We'll see. We got a knife for a couple of blades. And now we got what's here? We got some wood glue. We got some wood glue. Um, I assume it's like maybe glue grass and stuff. And here we got some cool some boxes. Oh. There's a lot, there's a lot in here. There is a lot. Uh, what's this? Mini putt. So this would be, I got some mini, oh, we got some mini putt here. So this would be to, when you put the minis together, to um, fill in the gaps to make it look nice. Mini putt. Oh my gosh. Jazz has even put in some cork and some foam. So we can do some dioramas and stuff, I guess. To do a scene. Wow. This is this has got everything. This this is insane. And it looks like <laughs> we have a cutting mat or just a a mat to use with measurements and everything you want. But it even has Jazz's face in the corner. <laughs> That's great. I'll be, he'll be always looking at me as, and looking down at me and saying, that's terrible, that's terrible, Robbie. And I'll be like, you're right, but I'm having fun anyway. So let's put that in the box and let's open, let's open these kits here. So, I'll leave these two standard pieces. So in here, wait, so this is, Jazz's uh, the army painter Jazz's collection so this has brushes it's got master class base coating and two base coating brushes and a master class brush which is very small apparently and 12 paints wow that's a lot of range of paints basing set Oh, cool. So you got some like fake grasses and soils so you can really make your minis a little cool platform. Tweezers, brush on primer. Let's open this up. Okay. Oh wow, this is this is cool. This is cool. This is the stuff I used to do as a kid, but not at this level. <laughs> okay. So I never used to paint minis, but used to make sort of like dioramas. Okay, it's got some cool instructions here. Sort of work out how to do where to start, what to do. And here's all the paints. It's got 12 different color paints to work with. That's a great start. Well, I assume it is. So it seems that like um, you prime it, spray, paint, dip, done. I've got to do some bed night reading and to read all these instructions and learn. And in here, in here we seem to have brushes oh wow okay that must be the that must be the master class yes it is so that is very tiny let me see if i can show you <laughs> if the camera can pick it up that's i don't know if you can see the end of the tip but yeah it's quite tiny so that would be for the top being precise work hope you don't, I don't ruin that do the eyeballs. <laughs> I'm sure the first few eyeballs I do are going to be quite bad. Quite bad. Okay. And we got, this is a base coat one. It's not as, it's not as small, but it's still small in relatively, relative to all the brushes in the world. And it looks like we have the dry brush. Okay, I've seen, I have seen 
what they do with the dry brush. Add a bit of texture and lighting um, to the piece. It's bigger and it sort of just adds. I've seen it done, but I'm yet to do it myself. And we've got some, here we've got some gloss varnish. Gloss varnish. Brush on primer, so it seems to get, to get it ready to paint. Plate metal. Plate mail metal. Oh, cool. So if I'm doing armor. Greedy gold. I love the names of these, I love the names. So there, it's got some fur brown, dark oak, red dragon. I do have um, something to show you after this as well. Goblin green. Well, that's going to come in handy for some, wow. Goblin green and dragon red. You guys, wait. So I pre-ordered this box uh, maybe four, at least four months ago. I don't remember. Um, we'll say around four months ago. And so I knew it was arriving in December. And I obviously told my wife. And at Christmas, she has gifted me these. So I got a DD &D mini. This is a Mastiff and a Shadow Mastiff. And what I was showing you before about the red dragon, <laughs> before the red dragon color, she has also got me a red dragon D&D mini. So once I do a bit of practice, I am going to paint that well with the red dragon color, I guess. And we have the green goblin the goblin green sorry <laughs> and I, she also got me the green goblin <laughs> from spider-man um, so i think goblin green will be good for green goblin what do you think i think i shall do that that's the paint i have so it may not be exactly right but it's meant to be right so that's awesome I love Spider-Man and the villains are awesome, so Green Goblin should be fun. I don't know what other colors here I have, like, so Green Goblin's got like a purple um, cloak and stuff. But maybe I can go and get some more paints. I'm not sure how much the paints are, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. That I have some other minis ready to go as well. Um, so when I get a little bit better, I want to paint them. But I'm going to start off with Jazz's minis that he brought in the box. And in here, it looks like we've got some textures and some soils. Um, oh, that looks awesome. It's got little fake grass in here too. That's awesome. We've got some soils. We've got some bushes, fake bushes. That's awesome. Pretty cool. And here's like loose grass to really like just bring around the place and under here looks like we got tweezers set as well so we can place all that perfectly looks like a bag of sugar <laughs> not, or other substance uh we got you know i'm sure it's not i'm sure it's for something okay so I could get, if I wanted more paint on this line, uh, they seem to have a lot of 20, 124 paints that I could choose. So, if I wanted to paint uh, like a purple, Warlock purple, that looks like, or alien purple, purple tone. There's, few, there's a few purples to work with. I'll see if I can get it locally. I would get something that's local in Australia. So I'll go to the, there is a minis, um, place in Sydney, which I love to go at the moment. Have a look at that, that's awesome. This is this is fun. <laughs> I got so many so many fun things to work with. I need a um, 
I wonder if I just keep the box and put everything in there or should I get, does anyone have like a, a chest or something that they use for all their mini stuff or their paintings? Now let us know in the comments if you got any recommendations or storage for this. And now we got, we've got some minis to paint. Here they are there at the front. Let's have a look. And these minis are pretty cool because they've got magnets. Um, so you can paint all the body parts and then rearrange and do whatever combination you want, including Jazz's head. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. These are quite detailed. This is crazy. I am going to struggle, but I'm excited. Excited to learn. So we've got some bases, we've got, oh wow. So we've got some weapons and arms here. Very tiny, but awesome. So, I don't know if you meant to paint them separately and then assemble or put together, but oh wow, that's cool. Wings, some angel wings. That's really cool. Take out the plastic. This is awesome. Like, I always wanted like a starter kit because I was a bit too, a bit too like, it's hard, you know, you just jump in it, jump in something massive. And I was like, well, I'm gonna suck at this. I don't want to, I don't know what to do. But now I have this full set starter kit by Jazza. Oh, something fell. It's like a flag or something. But yeah. Wings quite detailed there's so many bits and they they all have magnet that's crazy that's actually quite that's quite cool this has a lot in it it's a lot heavier than i thought and a lot bigger just got it for a bit over 200 dollars australian for all this stuff i love that i can make the base have some like grass and sort of practice a bit of everything i sure i'm just i just gotta work at it right there's cool shields here and there's arms and there's guns and there's swords. So I could paint this any color I want. I'm sure I'll get better with the colors and making it look good because at the moment I don't know what's good with what. I just, I will just paint it randomly. And then we've got all those minis. So there's like five there or something. That's five to work with. And then we can interchange and change it. So like swap them out. So it's sort of like, how many combinations would there be there? Probably a lot. And now here we have Jazz's original minis that he created from his original artwork. You can see here the original artwork that he made. And then he turned that into mini. Oh, wow. This one is bigger than the other one. Wow, this is this comes in a really nice box. That's so cool. So this is what it comes like. Look at that. You open it up, you see it like disassemble, and then you see all the pieces in there, nice foam. That is really nice. And it looks like this is on the base plates that you stick it on. And then I can paint that grass, whatever I want. So he's got a, like a blue ghost, but I could paint it however I like. You get the hair separately as well. Look at the detail. That's cr that is insane. I don't know if you can see that, but like it has got crazy detail. It's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm going to work my way up to this one. Um, I'm going to start on the Warhammer type minis just to practice and just sort of see like I could even start on like the one of the D&D ones right because I got the the dog the dragon apparently these are primed and ready to go too so I don't have to do the priming I just can go straight to the paint um, but yeah but first I'll be definitely doing some research and learn, learning before I'll do my theory before I do the practical Wow, and I think that's everything. That's a lot. 
that is a lot. Maybe you need to get like a little like um, little mini drawers, like portable drawers that I can like put all my pieces, like paints in one drawer, all my little bits and pieces. I should look into that actually. This has been awesome. So look out for on my Twitter. I'll do some posts of some of my progress. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you want to see more minis content on this channel, just let me know in the comments and I can do a little bit of painting, maybe a little painting video, a bit of a time lapse. I can show off what I've done so far, maybe a bit of a progress report. If you enjoy that type of thing. I hope you enjoyed this minis unboxing. So I now need to go and start my journey do my first mini. Hey everyone, it's Robbie from the future. I'm here to show you what I have acquired to store the mini parts in. So, as you can see in the cabinet behind me, uh, you may recognize it from the office tour video. And I'm gonna show you what I have acquired to, and I put into the cabinet to store all the little goodies. So here we go. So here we have the cabinet. Um, yeah, it's ex pretty much exactly the same as you saw in the office tour. But I have the, the minis, the Jazza Mega Minis box up the top there at, at this time. So you may remember what was in this part here, right? But it's changed a little bit. So at the moment now, I actually have some of the film gear um, for quick access. And on the left side, I now have got these clear drawers for the mini stuff. So at the top, I have the wet palette, the cutting mat and the foam. And just here, as a plane does fly above, but you know, this is a real video and we just get through these moments together. Um, I got the minis in one of these box in the drawer here. Some of the other minis in here. And in this drawer, I got some of the brushes, cutters, and here we have the tweezers. Um, just in here, we got some of the primers, the finishes, and some of the bits and pieces for greenery and rocks and all that. Down here, this paint tray fit in perfectly for the paint tray that already was there, straight into the drawer like that. It's like, it's like perfect. And here you've got a bit of miscellaneous stuff like the glues and the putties and stuff. And it fits in perfectly. As you can see here, it's literally the, just the right depth. So I was looking for that and I found it. And it's nice and packed away and it's closed the cabinet. How good is that? And it all fits nice and snug in the cabinet. So there we have it. Bit of bonus uh, Robbie from the future showing you what I've done with the minis. Next time you see the minis, hopefully I've actually painted them. Anyway guys, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you next video. See you later.